Hey guys, what's going on? Nick here. And uh, today we are going to be showing you, or I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, two mods into Minecraft for the Mac OS X Lion. So the mods we're going to install today are Mod Loader and Better Than Wolves. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to our finder. We're going to open up a finder window. What you're going to do is you're going to hold Shift, Command, and then you're going to push G. And it's going to open up a search bar and you're going to hit squiggly line forward slash library just like that and that's going to bring you to your library folder now you're going to hit or you're going to open up the application support folder scroll down and open up the minecraft folder now i'm going to open up minecraft i'm going to force update and log in and it's going to reset my minecraft to uh brand new as if I just downloaded it so that way we can both go from scratch so it's just downloading the packages minecraft is loading opening up we are going to go in and I'm gonna delete this and we're gonna create a new world called mods survival create new world we're going to go into this world and I'm going to show you that there are no mods installed. So it's generating level, saving chunks, simulating the world for a bit. We have an interesting spawn here. We're going to hop out. We're just going to go into the middle of this field, I guess. Look at me. I'm a green Power Ranger. Nothing uh, new, nothing different. This is just plain old vanilla Minecraft. So we're going to save and exit quit game so now we are here so we're gonna open up our minecraft folder and then we're gonna open up our bin file we're gonna take this minecraft.jar file we're gonna right click open with the unarchiver the unarchiver is a free program on the Mac App Store and just go download that and use it to uh, like unarchive stuff open zip files etc so you're gonna open your minecraft.jar file with the unarchiver it's gonna extract it and it's going to create a file like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that original minecraft.jar, move it to trash. We don't need it anymore. We're going to take this minecraft folder that it created, the one with the arrow next to it, and we are going to get info. We are going to name an extension. We're going to add dot jar, just like that. Enter, add the extension. So we've replaced the dot or the minecraft.jar file with the minecraft.jar folder. So now what we're going to do to install the actual mods is we're going to open that and then we're going to go over here to our mod. So I downloaded mod loader. It downloads in a zip file and you're just going to click double zip the or double click the zip file file. Double click the zip file. There we go. It's going to open up into a folder. You're going to double click the folder and it'll open that up. So you're going to copy everything that's in there and you're just going to drag it into your minecraft.jar file. It's going to ask you if you want to replace all this stuff. You're going to click apply to all and replace. And that's what it's going to do. Now it should scroll you down to the M's basically. If it doesn't just scroll down to the M's in your minecraft.jar file and you're going to find this one folder called meta inf or meta inf so you're gonna check what's on it, like what's in it just so you can see doesn't matter and you're just gonna delete the whole file like the whole file just like that you're gonna scroll back up to the top and you're gonna open minecraft to make sure that the like the actual game still runs with that mod installed so basically what that mod does is it allows other mods to work together so the mod worked it doesn't add anything to the game so just regular old minecraft here's where we were we're gonna save and quit because we know the game works and we're gonna close minecraft now we are going to open the better than wolves mod so this is the zip file that you get when you download better than wolves you know double click to open it it's gonna give you this folder double click to open the folder and my biggest tip for installing any mod is if it comes with a readme file read it so I'm gonna open it and it's gonna give me installation instructions 
and what you're gonna do is read those instructions that's my biggest tip for anybody installing a mod is to read the instructions so you're gonna close that after you read it you're gonna open up this minecraft.jar folder like it says copy everything that's in there just like that and you're just gonna drag it into your minecraft.jar folder it's gonna ask you if you want to replace the stuff you're gonna click apply to all and replace now we're gonna go into minecraft open minecraft up log in um, for some reason when I do it it gives me this weird title page but it still works perfectly fine so we're gonna click single player go into that world that we created and this mod adds a lot of stuff so what you're gonna do I mean it's hard to tell right now because this is a brand new world but it uh, as the game is running you can tell that it works so in order like to show you guys I guess I'll create a new world and it'll be in uh, creative so we have all the the stuff that this mod adds so what we're gonna do is after the level generates I'm gonna open up my inventory if it loads a little quicker so here we are I'm gonna open up my inventory I'm gonna scroll down to blocks that are not in the regular Minecraft so like the saw it adds it adds a millstone so what like so the my this mod has worked we've installed it correctly everything is fine and that's basically how you install mods um, for Minecraft on the Mac OS X Lion so yeah thanks for watching if you have any questions just uh, leave it in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you if I can so thanks for watching uh, happy modding.